Power Failure, Advanced Troubleshooting. Today, on Pellet Tech Talk. Warning. This video demonstrates troubleshooting techniques that require the use of a voltmeter and a basic understanding of electricity. Only follow these steps if you are comfortable with electricity and performing voltage tests with a voltmeter. Always interrupt active power whenever disconnecting or reconnecting wires within the unit, either by unplugging the power cord or flipping the main power switch to the off position. Only resupply active power when safely performing your voltage tests. Pull the spade connectors off of the inside posts of the main power switch block. Now plug the cord back in and switch it to the on position. Set your voltmeter to test for residential volts AC. Now, touch the meter probes to the top and middle posts as shown. The meter should display a full voltage reading of around 120 volts. If there is little to no voltage showing, this indicates a break in continuity through the switch and may indicate a bad fuse or power switch block. You can do a resistance check on the fuses to ensure that they are still good. Set the voltmeter to the lowest ohms resistance test and then place the meter lead probes on each side of the fuse as shown. If your meter displays OL, open, or infinite resistance, it usually indicates that the fuse is bad. If the fuse is good, but there is no voltage between the two switch posts, then the break is within this switch block and it needs to be replaced. As stated in the part one video, there is an extra power switch on the bottom right side. A resistance test can determine if both the left and right channels have continuity. With the wires disconnected and the switch set to the on position, set the voltmeter to the ohms resistance test again and touch the meter probes to the top and bottom posts on the left channel. Then repeat the test on the top and bottom posts of the right channel. If the switch is good, the meter will show continuity through the switch. After verifying that the power switch is good, the next step is to test the circuit board inside the black box. Remove the cover lid and locate the three metal tab-like testing points. Touch the black meter probe on the second L-type solder connection as shown. And then touch the three tab testing points one at a time with the red meter probe. If the board circuits are good, it should display full voltages for each of these three testing points. Next, set your meter to test for DC voltage. Place your tester probes to touch the top two pins of the white harness clip for the data cable, as shown. These pins will be labeled as VCC and ground. If the transformer is good, it should display around 5 volts between these two pins. Now reconnect your data cable to the circuit board and test the same two pins at the end of the wire. If the meter shows 5 volts at the board, but no voltage at the end of the data cable, it would indicate a break in continuity, and the data cable needs to be replaced. If the meter shows voltages making it all the way up to the panel, but the panel still fails to power up, it may indicate that the panel is bad and needs to be replaced. So to recap, test and verify the main power switch block, test and verify the main circuit board, and test and verify the data cable. And that's it. You're all set. Thanks for watching. Until next time. On Pellet Tech Talk.